Sofona, to the flag that Don Bosco has grown. For it bloom in God's garden and blemish, and was guarded for heaven above. O good Savio, so pure and so loving, help us keep rose and lily in flower. That their fragrance and freshness unsullied May delight heaven's king every hour Viva, viva The fourth day Dominic was among those who were consumed with an ardent desire to celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception worthily. On the advice of his confessor, he knelt before Our Lady's altar and renewed the promise he made at his First Communion. Then he said over and over again, O Mary, I give you my heart, make it yours forever. O Jesus, O Mary, be always my friends. May I die rather than commit a single sin. After Dominic has thus placed himself under the protection of the Blessed Virgin, his conduct became so perfect and his life so edifying that I noted it down in order not to forget it. Scripture reading And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has regarded the lowly estate of his handmaid. And from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he is mighty, has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation on all who fear him. Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 50. It was the year 1854. November had passed. December was on its way. The atmosphere in the auditory was special. Several youngsters fervently received Holy Communion at the morning mass every day. At a little function, every evening, they lustily sang songs to the Madonna. It was the novena in preparation for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Pius IX had announced that on December 8th he would define as truth of faith to be believed by all Christians that Mary Most Holy is Immaculate, not tainted by sin from the first moment of her existence. The Christian world had woken up. In churches all over, the faithful prayed to the Most Holy Virgin as they prepared grandiose celebrations. Don Bosco, an ardent son of Mary Most Holy, talked fervently to his boys every night and during the Novena much more zealously. On November 28th, before the Novena could begin, Dominic went up to Don Bosco's office. And Don Bosco told him, Dominic, will you do something for the Madonna during this Novena? And Dominic said, First of all, I would like to make my confession to prepare my soul well. Then I want to perfectly carry out the little nosegays, the little acts of love for the Virgin Mary that you will suggest to us every day. Then I'll receive communion every morning. After that, said Don Bosco, one more thing. I want to wage a ruthless war on mortal sin. Don Bosco looked at him affectionately. In all his life, as a priest, he was dumbstruck by the words of the lad. He would wage a ruthless war on mortal sin that offends God, spreads evil in the world, and leads to the ruination of souls. Don Bosco had understood this and was already beginning to assist him. December 8th had arrived. In Rome, Pope Pius IX, in the presence of 53 cardinals, 42 archbishops, and 98 bishops, 
proclaimed as a dogma of faith that the Blessed Virgin Mary, from the first moment of her existence, by a singular privilege and grace of God, by virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the human race, was preserved from all stain of sin. The newspapers in Rome reported, the sky above Rome, covered with dark clouds, parted for a moment to let the sunlight illuminate the face of the Pope. At that hour, Dabri Savio went up to the altar of Our Lady, took from his pocket a piece of paper on which he had written a few lines he had long meditated on, and consecrated himself to Mary with a prayer that would be repeated by hundreds of thousands of youngsters around the world. Mary, I give you my heart. Make it yours always. Jesus and Mary, be my friends always. But for heaven's sake, let me die rather than have the misfortune to commit a single sin. That evening, the whole of Turin shone with thousands of lights in a fantastic display of devotion. Thousands of colourful banner, banners and balloons were wavering on the balconies, terraces and on the banks of the Po. In the streets below, people set out in a festive procession to the shrine of the Consolata, the patroness of Turin. Even Don Bosco's youngsters joined in the joy of the city. They spent the evening singing in the streets and chanting hymns to the Queen of Heaven. We know that Don Bosco loved the Madonna very much and especially called her the help of Christians. He taught Dominic to call her so and to ask her as a powerful aid in all the difficulties of life. In the writings of Dominic, some of which are preserved in the Salesian archives, one reads, written in small letters on the tops of some pages, Madonna, help me. There were difficult assignments for a little village boy who had just come down from the hills and Dominic, before attempting to carry them out, called on the Madonna for help. We all have our difficult moments in life too. Like St. Dominic Savio, let's begin each day at the start of each day. That little prayer that Dominic Savio wrote, Madonna, help me. Let us pray to this young saint and ask for his help. O Saint Dominic Savio, through prayer, sacrifice and joy, you followed the advice of Don Bosco and in your short life you achieved perfection. Give us that zeal and constancy in serving the Lord. Protect our youngsters that they may grow pure and generous. Help us elders to be like Don Bosco, friends of God and young people, true educators of the faith. And may our work produce in our youth the fruits of grace and holiness. Amen. The Blessing of Mary, Help of Christians Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit did prepare the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mary to become a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant that as we rejoice in her commemoration, we may, by her loving intercession, be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit descend on you and remain with you 
always. Yeah. 